Hi, this is Betsy Smith with Officer.com, and I want to talk to you about off-duty carry of your firearm. Now it's more important than ever that those of us who are uh, allowed to carry a firearm are out there armed and ready to engage the kind of evil that we see in our country and beyond. So think about what are you carrying off-duty, where are you carrying it, how you can access it. Now, I know so many police officers who say, ah, you know, when I leave the job, I, I don't want to have a gun. I'm off the job. The reason that we want you to carry off duty is, is not so you can go out and arrest a shoplifter or, or whatever. We want you to, first of all, be able to protect yourself. More importantly, protect those you love, your family, your friends that you're out and about with. You also, I believe, have a, a moral obligation to help protect those citizens who might rely on you even in an off-duty situation when you're going to the bank, when you're going in to pay for your gas at a gas station, going in to a, a convenience store to grab a snack. You need to be ready. Now, I know some, a lot of firearms trainers say you should carry the exact same firearm off-duty that you carry on duty. In an ideal world, that would be great, but different people like to carry different firearms when they're off duty. For me, uh, and somebody my size, carrying my full duty firearm when I'm off duty just wasn't practical. It's also not practical for me to carry it on my belt. So what we want you to think about is where can I carry it that it's comfortable? Where can I access it fairly easily? I know a lot of people don't like ankle holsters. Are they a little difficult to access? They are. So how do you remedy that? You practice. There's, a, there's carry conceal purses for women. There are carry conceal jackets and leather vests for men or women. The key to it is to practice. You also want to make sure that you have enough ammunition. So if you're carrying a revolver, and I like a good small revolver for off-duty carry, make sure you've got additional ammunition with you. If you have one of the small uh, automatics, you know, whether a, a, a 380 or one of the small nines, uh, a baby Glock. Make sure that you've got additional magazines. Uh, you don't want to get into an off-duty shootout situation and then run out of ammunition. You also want to make sure you can identify yourself as an off-duty or a retired police officer. So make sure that you have ID on you, especially if you're a, a police officer, make sure that you've got that badge with you. And studies show that officers who carry that badge underneath their clothing around their neck and are able to pull that out are less likely to get shot by the responding uniforms. So make sure you can identify yourself and repeat, I'm a police officer, I'm a police officer. Make sure that those responding officers, are they hear you, but also do exactly what they tell you when those uniformed officers respond to that situation. So we want you to make sure that you do carry off duty, talk to your family about it, make some decisions about what you're gonna carry and where, have enough ammunition, and make sure you can identify yourself as a person who's on the right side of the law when you're in that off-duty shooting situation. This is Betsy Smith, stay safe.